everyone, so this video um, is another very late video. I'm very excited um, to talk about what I'm going to talk about in this video because I'm going to review a um, book of poetry that the author um, requested I read and review his poetry book and I very happily accepted. I have um, some notes on my computer over here so if you see me glimpsing glancing over here then that's why but yeah he sent me a ebook copy a pdf or something like that um through email and to have me read it so i don't have an actual physical book to show you but i will put a picture for you to see what it looks like and funnily enough um he reached out to me forever ago so i very much apologize for the lateness of this video um but Funnily, coincidentally enough, April is um, Poetry Month, so it kind of fits right in. But yeah, so the book is called This Boy is a Rainbow by the author Sam Payne. And I will also put a picture of what he looks like right here somewhere. And he also has a website, so I'll put a link to that um, down below so you can check that out. Um, the, web the website is pretty cool. It gives you all the information on him, all the information on his book and his poetry. There's even a, a trailer for his book, which is really cool. There's even, he even has a playlist um, that he put together for his poetry, which was really cool. He has people on his playlist like Dodie, who is actually um, another really lovely singer. And I, al I also um, read and reviewed her latest like poetry kind of book that she released also which I really really liked um he also has Hosier who is somebody who really needs to make more music like for real and um Tom Odell which is another singer that I really like so go just check out that playlist I really like the music on there when I first um received and started reviewing this book I did notice right away that there's uh, not the not necessarily the poetry but like the 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 style and like the pictures and like the simple the simplisticness that's not a word um of it kind of reminded me of and i feel like a lot of people would say this of like ruby Carr, um and that other poetry book that's kind of similar um i don't know who the author is but i think it's called like the princess saves herself in this one or something like that and so it kind of follows along how those read but with his story so i kind of like that and it made it easy to read and i really enjoyed the story so this book so this poetry book how, how do you even say it um it's it's told in different parts so there is um the storm the sun the rainbow and then he talks kind of to the reader which is really cool and so um this kind of progression of the stories with this poetry um is kind of the story of his growth and his self-love and his um just becoming a more whole person and so i really enjoyed reading his journey to get to that point and i was very happy to see that he had gotten to this point at the end of the story because of the heartbreak and the, and the pain that he was going through in the beginning so i did make a note of some of my favorite poems so i thought i would um like tell you talk about my favorites real quick so the first one i wrote is it says my rosy innocent definition of love became twisted untrusting fragile when you left and it's kind of just i'll put a picture if i can but it's told kind of it, it's it goes down the way the words are and all this is in the beginning when he's talking about his heartbreak and all that so there's another one that i liked it was on page 35 i believe and it says i convinced myself self-sacrifice would lead to love but it only made it easier for you to rob me so he gave so much to this other person and this guy just um just took advantage of him and that's kind of the point of this relationship I felt with this story is that this other person took advantage of his love and took advantage of his loyalty and dedication to him and he just didn't feel like giving anything in return and so that's what kind of broke him and so I really felt for him I really felt bad for this toxic relationship that he was a part of and because i mean in the in his poetry he tells he tells the reader how this guy stole his virginity how he was like kind of the first person that he was really in love with and how um like basically the first his first kind of messed him up a little bit which sucks as like your first love that sucks and then another one on page 124 i really like the wordplay on this one it says you entered my life and i was whole you exited my life and i have holes but i will learn to be whole again page 127 was another one i really i just liked a lot of these and it says stop waiting for love to knock on your door start your adventure and love will find you and that one resonated because um i'm like I have never been in a relationship and there are some moments where like man I wish I like was in love <laughs> with somebody and I just get like that and then I have to remind myself or my mom will, will remind me just like 
to chill out basically because like when it comes it will come and people always say when you're least expecting it it will happen so I'm like always expecting it so I'm like it's never gonna happen but um yeah that's just something to remember just I, to tell myself sometimes just like live your life and things will happen doesn't mean just sit around and wait but you know don't force things another one on page 132 it says you may feel lonely but you're never alone if you have the bravery to open your heart and that's definitely true and something i should tell myself also um you may feel alone but honestly if you surround yourself with the right people if you do the right things that you love you that loneliness doesn't necessarily have to be the only thing you feel so the next and last part is the rainbow on um, this person that he's become and i really liked a lot of the ones in here too and so there's one on page 162 that i really liked um where is it where is it oh it says i could never take I could never trade my creativity for a slice of his passion. It would never come close to satisfying my desires. So, like, don't live for other people. Like, don't sacrifice your own stuff, your own passions, your own dreams for another person. It's not worth it. And if this other person really loved you, they would help you in those dreams and in those passions. They wouldn't take away from it. And then on page 173, there's another one that I really liked and that I've never really kind of thought of before. And it says, I don't have one soulmate. I have many who are dear to my soul. And that's just interesting because when people think of soulmates, they think of like this person that you love romantically. But that can, a soulmate can be your mom. It could be your best friend. It could be your brother. Um and i just i like that because i hadn't really thought of it like that before then there was another um right next to it um page 199 it says do not mistake my self-love for narcissism mine is a weapon to survive the other is not survivable because there is a difference between self-love and like narcissism and like thinking that you're better than other people and thinking that you are the best like there's a there's a difference and people need to um there's definitely some people that are narcissistic and it's like you need to chill um but um self-love is important I have one more here that I wanted to quickly talk about and it says never tell a boy to hide his feelings or worse to not feel at all or worse still to only feel anger we are training boys to feel empty when they are drowning without a plug hole to set them free their only release self-destruction why this boy why this boy writes is in quotation and um, quotations and I really like that because of like the gender roles and the society pressures to be like of how you need to be as a boy and girl boys are not supposed to cry they're not supposed to feel they're not supposed to you know be soft and that's something that we and not to sound all preachy and all like feminist and all like that um even though i am very much a feminist but um yeah society we really need to move forward and work towards you know opening up these roles for girls and boys so yeah those were some of the poems that i really liked there's a really great collection in here there's probably a whole bunch that you would relate to and like and uh just as a story in itself and his journey to um this toxic relationship to the self-love that he ends up in is really nice to see and nice to read uh it's pretty inspiring i really really love this i thank you so much sam for sending me your your book to read i really appreciate it and thank you for allowing me to review it and trusting me to review it that was really awesome i really did love it so i will link i will leave all the links and everything down below to where you can get the book um and i really recommend it because it's pretty pretty great it's another really great like lgbtq plus book um especially a book of poetry that that's out there for you to read um so if you are lgbt and you want something that you can probably relate to um i feel like this is relatable just as like a human being but if especially if you are lgbt this is it's it's pretty great and there needs to be more representat representation in that regard out there with books and and tv shows and movies i haven't seen that new movie what is it the simon simon and the Ho homo sapien agenda is that what it's called um i've i've wanted to go and watch it i've heard it's like amazing so yeah there is there is a lot of there have has been a lot of progress made especially like this year um with stuff coming out but yeah this is just another addition to that so yeah i think that is it for now um i'm going like i said i'll leave all the links down below um and i'll probably post something on instagram but yeah if you have any questions about this please let me know also and thank you all so much for watching and i will see you in my next video bye bye